Welcome to Sustainable Packaging with Corey Connors. Today's guest is my friend, Elizabeth Mueller, the founder and CEO of Swath Gifts. How are you, Elizabeth? I'm doing great. I'm honored to be on your podcast. I listen all the time. So it's amazing to be here talking to you for real. Oh, thank you so much. It's my honor to have you on. And I'm very excited about your products. It's totally a unique kind of packaging. And I think the audience is going to fall in love with these right away. So let's start with your background a little bit. How did you get into this business? Yes, I will speak similarly. I know many people on your podcast say it wasn't a direct path and mine was equally not direct. My educational background and initial work background was actually in marketing. Um, and I worked in marketing for a while, but then changed my mind and decided to go into education. So then I was working in education for a long time in different roles. But what really brought me into packaging was more my family inspired me as my husband and I have been foster parents for many years. So as we grew our family in many different you know ways and shapes and forms, I was inspired to find ways to make less waste, even as our family grew, which, you know, any parent or anyone who takes care of other humans knows that all of a sudden you make a lot more garbage and it's really shocking. And so to me, that really was a striking change in growing our family. And so we'll get into what Swath is, but it's reusable fabric gift wrap because that was one way that I saw my family celebrating holidays, but in a way that left me feeling pretty yucky, you know, throwing away all that garbage at the end of a happy celebration. And so I felt inspired to find a different way to celebrate and not create as much waste. So it really was an inspiration from my family. And then Thankfully, I used a bunch of skills from my career path that didn't really bring me to sustainable packaging to you know, learn a lot and meet a lot of great people to learn from and learn from my mistakes and grow from there. So it was a very twisty turn path, but I'm really excited to, I learn so much about packaging every day. So it's, it's really fun for me to be in an industry that I didn't really expect to be in. And I'm, I'm so thankful you sent me a few samples. Let's talk about this. So for the people listening, can you describe this beautiful little fabric package. What What is it and how does it work? And tell us about it. This sure. Awesome. So when you first look at it, something that you'll notice that I really had to challenge myself how to problem solve was that I didn't want there to be a lot of packaging in my product because the whole right. point of my product is to not make packaging waste. But, you know, usually at the store, you see something and you see it and it's like in a bag or it has all those little plastic pokey guys I know there's a name for them. Probably people in the industry know what they what that name is. Do you? Right, right. The thing the go through. But I, I really uh, wanted yeah, to I use. Know. I wanted to not use any plastic in my packaging, and I wanted to use minimal packaging. So if you are in a store, and I'm starting to branch out into more retail stores in my home base, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but also am starting to connect with refill shops across the country. So hopefully you might see me in a couple other cities soon. So if you see what you were just holding, sorry, the own, this is the packaging. When you buy a swath or if you purchase a swath online, this is what you will receive. And there's no plastic packaging. All there are are two little tags that are both paper made from recycled paper and recyclable that give you a little bit more information about the product and what size it is because there are three sizes small medium and large to meet any of your gifting needs and then when you open it up what I use to kind of create a stable structure is three gift tags that are also paper but they're recycled paper and recyclable that you can use for at least your first couple gifts there's usually three or four in there for you so they're not reusable because once you write on them you know it might it might not although I have used them like it says I've used mine to my mom like to yeah. mom, love Elizabeth a million times <laughs> right. because why not? So I have a little pile of ones that I reuse. When you open it up, you'll see that even in how I get it to the customer, I right. tried to minimize the amount of waste I was creating because I just, every 
part of my company, I want to make sure that I'm thinking through and that we're critically thinking through what garbage we are making in the process. So that's why I was really excited to kind of find this creative way to wrap a couple of paper, paper cards rather than put it in a plastic bag or wrap it with something else. Because yeah. every part of this product you'll you're able to use again or recycle these little bits of paper which i don't love but you know you got to give people some information i think it's a brilliant idea so kudos to you for this i've never seen reusable gift wrap before yeah so let me tell you sorry i know you said what is this so when you open it up then you'll see it's a pretty simple design to be honest but i wanted to make it as material savvy and user-friendly as possible, as well as I wanted it to wrap and I wanted it to look like paper because I <laughs> I love things to be just so. And so I wanted it to be form-fitting to whatever you're wrapping, whether it's something soft like a t-shirt or a jewelry box or a shoe box. I wanted it to have the look of a paper wrapped box. So as you can see, if you're looking on YouTube, when you wrap, it's exactly form fitting. So from the front, you might for a second actually think it's wrapped with paper until you touch it. Beautiful. And so it's a it's a unique way to wrap, but it's very simple. Other than wrapping at a 90 degree angle, it's very similar to wrapping with paper, but you don't need scissors, you don't need tape, and it takes about two minutes to wrap a gift. Maybe not the first time you might have to watch my how-to video, but you simply wrap a ribbon around, clip it on, wrap the other ribbon around, clip it on, tie a bow, and you're ready to go. I'm a kind of on-the-go mom, and so I've been known to wrap a gift at a stoplight <laughs> on the way to the birthday party because that's that type of parent that I am. That's So the ends of the ribbons have these little clips and like you're saying we just we just slide that on to the other ribbon or the material yeah yeah it just did it i'm not an expert rapper here <laughs> <No worries. laughs> but and it holds on it's easier yeah. when you're wrapping it around the package because oh, then it'll is. hold on to itself so it holds it tight to the material so here i can show there you right. no i guess so there you go so that's that's a very it's simple once you figure it out. <laughs> yeah, once you do it. Again, the first, just like, you know, I always say like the first time you wrapped a gift with paper, it probably looks like not very good. You <laughs> it know, still so, does for me. little by little, <laughs> I think the feedback that I've had from customers that I love is that wrapping with swath is way easier than wrapping with paper. Because with paper, you know, it's so frustrating. If you were trying to wrap, I wrapped a skateboard for my son. Oh, I'm like cool. wrapping a skateboard. It wasn't in a box because I had gotten it from a secondhand store. Mm -hmm. And so it didn't have a box. And I was like, oh, okay, let me wrap this. And with paper, you could never wrap a skateboard because the, the paper would be ripping over the wheels and it just wouldn't work. But with swath, you can wrap those oddly shaped gifts, especially the ones that you buy secondhand. So they don't have the box that they originally came in. And, you know, you're really giving a gift to the planet as well as giving a gift to the person who's opening it. Because, you yeah. know, at, at Swath, we talk about that it either, you know, can be part of the gift that they're going to keep and cherish and use again. But right. then honestly, a lot of times with my family, it stays within the family. So right. you're using it again, 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 and again. So at the end of the day, you're saving money on not having to buy wrapping paper that you're just going to toss because right. we've used the ones that I originally made for the kids who were living with us at that time that I made out of some itchy red sheets that nobody liked. <laughs> <laughs> those were the first ones. And I still have, I must have used those hundreds of times because they're very durable. They're kid tested. Believe me, I've had <laughs> many, many a kids try to rip them apart and yeah. they are fun because they open really similar to paper. So it's not a different experience because I think to me, gifting is about the thought, the intention, the purpose that you put into it. So I want people to have that experience of pulling the gift open, you know, not having yeah. to do it carefully. Although, you know, some people open gifts carefully, which is fine too, but I wanted there to be that same experience, but then you just don't have to experience tossing it out. You just fold it up and either put it back in your bag and take it home or give yeah. it to the person as part of the gift. And hopefully they cherish it and, and pass it on to the next person. 
I think that's an excellent point. It will be part of the gift. And I think you'll be more intentional with the gifts that you wrap with these and, and more intentional gifting because, you know, it's such a fine presentation. You told me a story before the, the podcast started about this particular beautiful material that looks like it has flowers on it and it's got blue and, and orange and yellow. Can you talk about this and, and what it's from? Yeah, absolutely. And it'll also give me an opportunity to tell you a little bit about how I source my fabric, which is pretty exciting. Because when I started out, I thought that I would purchase fabric, which at first I did, you know, you learn from your mistakes. And I started out using tensile, which is a sustainably sourced and produced material, which is good, right? Like that is, it's good to use sustainably produced material like a tensile. It uses less water. The dye has non-toxic chemicals and all these things. And so that's where I started. But little by little, I was able to really think about and reflect on the fact that I didn't want to be making something when there's so much, this was what I looked up for you before the podcast, yeah. that only 1% of materials that we use to make clothing is recycled. So that's wow. like tons and tons of waste every year. So that got me thinking and got me talking to people to make some connections where I am able to source fabric from, I do it locally because I don't want to have to, you know, use all the resources to ship things, but I work with a few local retailers who let me take off their hands fabric from their sampling process that would end up in the landfill. Oh, and so awesome. I'm literally taking fabric that they would have to pay to throw away. And I'm making it into something so adorable. These anchors, that's these beautiful. were little boy shorts, oh, but cute. then now they're a swath that you can wrap for someone who loves, you know, to boat and be on the water. They're oh, on sale right. right now. If you want to check it out <laughs> until Thursday and then they'll disappear until next summer. So oh, I get have to buy this. they're on a good sale, but you know, so I use this fabric from these local retailers. But then I also, I'm a, as you can probably tell from my skateboard from the second hand shop, I love to go around to local resale shops. And there's one here in Milwaukee that often there's a, someone who finds vintage grain sack from the 1930s. And whenever she does, now she lets me know because I go get it right away. Oh, that's because so cool. it's, I had to learn and educate myself what grain sack was. I didn't know about this until I started buying it from this secondhand shop here in Milwaukee, Farm Girl Art and Antiques. If you are in Milwaukee, check it out. <laughs> it's one of, it's my heaven. I literally joke and call it my heaven. But it's 1930s and 40s, the mills started printing beautiful prints on the grain sack that at that time, you know, predominantly women were going to buy big bags of grain to make everything in their house. But as a marketing strategy, the mills started printing this beautiful fabric on the bags because the women would use the bags to make clothing for themselves and for their kids. Right. And yeah. so that would be one reason to buy this grain instead of that grain. Mm -hmm. um, and so this, this fabric still exists in the world, which to me is like magical. And yeah. so I will always get that really quick and try to make as many swaths as I can. It's usually not a big roll of fabric, like how I can get from the retailers. I'll get, you know, yards and yards of fabric, but this is usually only like one or two yards, but it's one of my favorite things to sew and to make from because you're, you're using something that's you know, almost a century old at this point yeah. that was used to carry grain, that was used to make a make a dress or make a uh, clothing. And then now I'm using it to make reusable fabric gift wrap. And it just, to me is, is it exactly, it's when I envisioned this company, it's exactly what I had in mind. And so uh -huh. that just is so pleasing to me. And so one of the ones that I sent to you is that, that vintage green sack. And it's, yeah. I hope that you, uh, it seems like you connect to that story as much yeah. as I do, because it's just so much fun. My daughter is seven years old and she immediately claimed this particular swath. She said, you could wrap my gift in that. Uh, yes. If, oh, if that, like. makes, that <laughs> makes my heart so happy. Yeah. And like I said, I try to really find patterns that will put, I, I had a friend who is very 
nautical into lives yeah. down in Florida, loves the water, loves boating. And I'm making this actually for her right now. Yeah. And the birds. So this, I love and this so, one. you know, I really try to make patterns that will be so fun and that will maybe, you know, be, you can pick it for a person who, you know, would love that certain, that certain feeling or vibe so yeah. it does add to the gift so my last word, thing is i haven't yeah. done it much but i know in one of the questions you had said are you doing anything new is that i am it's at I don't think it's on my website yet, but I'm toying with making custom swaps. So I think I may have said like on my website, you can contact me, but my little, my, a friend, a few, uh, a few people I've just talked to have, you know, babies who are growing out of their little new onesies and stuff like that. Yeah. And so I offered to make one of the favorite onesies. I offered to make a swath out of that because then they can use that to wrap their kid's gift, you know, oh, until they it. go off to college or whatever. <laughs> this onesie that they wore when they were one years old that says something cute. So I have to figure out exactly what that looks like. I'm still pretty new. I only launched about 10 months ago. Oh, wow. So I'm still pretty new and finding my footing and finding ways to grow that are, you know, growing and staying true to your mission is a hard, it's a hard challenge. And Very so much. I am yeah. committed to my mission. And so I'm, I'm working on figuring out how to do all of these fun ideas that I have and also keep my, keep my company really true to my mission and, and not let my customers down by, by making any shortcuts in sustainability, but, you know, also wanting to just like make swaths out of onesies because I just think it's so <laughs> adorable. <laughs> right. It is. And the word swath means to wrap. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. The so word this is... swath with an E, it means to wrap. And so we always say it means to wrap. And when you say, when you see a swath, you know that it was wrapped with love. I love that. And this is a small. Mm -hmm. And this is the a small me is great a for medium. like a jewelry box okay. or Yep. It's great for like a jewelry box, even a t-shirt. Like I said, you don't have to wrap something that's hard. So it's great for like a jewelry box, a t-shirt, you know, and actually wraps beautifully a candle, which I love because wrapping a candle with paper is impossible, Right. but right. it's super easy. Like a, a, a nine ounce candle or a mason jar. If you're, you know, making candies for someone or something, you can put them in your salsa jar that you're reusing, hopefully. That's perfect. And then, and the then medium, this is... This is That's a large. the large. Yeah. That's the large. Is, is there an extra large? So there's a medium and then there's a large. So okay. the medium is perfect for like a couple books or a sweatshirt or maybe like a purse. And the large is like big. I mean, think like a big toy. I Again, I wrapped a skateboard with it. I wrapped box, like, maybe you know, one of those like Melissa it. and Doug farmhouses with <laughs> it. It can wrap like a boot. We're not talking just a little shoe box. We're talking like a boot box. Yeah. So nice. your large is really pretty big. It can feel a little unwieldy for a second, but then once you get that big box sitting on it, it's really no problem at all. And the good thing too is that, you know, you, it would be hard to wrap a jewelry box with a large, but like a medium, you could still wrap a jewelry box. Like you can go, you can go down and because you wrap on an angle, little math lesson for you today. <laughs> I didn't think of this, let me tell you, but I was schooled in a little math lesson from someone smarter than me, but you wrap, <laughs> since you wrap on an angle, you actually can fit something much bigger than you think. Because you're mm -hmm. wrapping on an angle, and so if that's geometry, that when you when you are trying to cover more surface area, doing it on an angle gives you a bigger surface area to cover. So like a small, even though it looks like it should just wrap like a little jewelry box, it can wrap like this big this big jewelry box. And if you try to wrap it straight on, it, it would not fit. fit. But you put yeah. it on an angle, and it fits. And <laughs> that's one kind of little one thing that's, that's a, great... a little bit unique about the product but it it also again i'm always trying to find ways to save just making more garbage so if we if i made them much bigger i have to use more fabric and more fabric is more water and more work and all these things and so wrapping on an angle also saves us not just wasting fabric just to wrap something in a way that doesn't use it as much right yeah, that's excellent. I love that there's multiple sizes. I could see them, I could see you developing a community where people are trading them with each other. Like, I've had this one for a couple of years. Why don't we 
you know, maybe like a, a that would an, be an so online like group or something. Facebook group or something. I would love that. That's such a great idea. Actually, one one company that I look to, oh, I'll have to look up. They're in the UK and they're reusable fabric gift wrap as well. A little bit different of a style than mine, but mm-hmm. they actually in during the holidays rent out their fabric gift wrap. And then you can send, so you rent it out and then you send it back. So it's not as expensive to rent it. You can buy it too, or you can just rent like, you know, a big pack of like, you get like 10 mediums and 10 larges and 10 small. So you can wrap all your gifts and then you send it back. And that's another way that, you know, in the future, I would love to grow in that way because I do think, you know, I'm, I save every, it's a bit of a, I have to, I love to say boxes, jars, all these things, but I know not everybody has that opportunity space to save everything or that's just not their kind of style. And so if you're not a saver to be able to rent it and send it back, I mean, how beautiful is that? They're, they're about 15 years ahead of me in their business, but (laughs) you know, maybe some, maybe someday you, someday you'll buy them. And that's, that's how, that's how big (laughs) we can just work together. Yeah. (laughs) There's not a lot. There are more in the UK and Australia. There are some other fabric gift wrap companies but i would say that it's a very friendly community we're all friends on instagram and supporting one another because really we are few and far between there's not very many of us and everybody does have a little bit different style of the wrap and so it's kind of it's a very supportive community it's it's quite beautiful actually it seems to be the case for the sustainable world that people want to collaborate they want to work with each other they want to tell each other hey, this is the kind of packaging that we use. This is why it works better. This is an alternative to that. And this is, it's exciting to see not a competition as much, but a helpful environment where people can work together. Yes. My whole mission is to get people to stop and think before they wrap a gift. And if that means they order a swath, or if that means they order another fabric gift wrap, from, you know, one of the other very few companies that make them, or if it just means they go in their closet and they get a scarf that they never wear and they find a cute way to tie it up with a bow, that's a swath. You better tag me and I'll be so proud of you (laughs) because that's the kind of stuff that I do too. I don't, I have to be totally, I have to make a confession that I don't wrap every single gift I ever give with a swath. I have gift bags that I use until they are like tattered and disgusting. (laughs) And then I'll still use them again and be like, you're welcome. Mother Earth says thanks. Because, you know, I'll use some some things you just throw in a gift bag. I'm the kind of person that I fold up the tissue paper and use it again and again too. I love to make things. And so creating these swaths with patterns that I love and from garbage fabric, you know, and fabric from the 1930s, that is something that I love to do. Excellent. Well, how do people get in touch with you and how do they order these and what, what's the process? Yeah. So Swath Gifts is the best thing to Google. So if you're on Google, Swath Gifts is it because that's my website too, but you don't even have to get the website. Super perfect. Swath is with an E. So S-W-A-T-H-E Gifts. Pop that into Google or put a .com at the end of it and you'll see my website there. And I'm on pretty much every social media platform. I'm super active on Instagram, Facebook, and I'm getting better at TikTok. So maybe oh, Corey yeah. can inspire me to improve <laughs> on that as well as I'm on LinkedIn. But on my website also has my email address. If you if you want to reach out to me, definitely instant message me or DM me on Instagram and I'll get right back to you. But if you want to reach out to me for something specific or, you know, you have questions, you're welcome to email me. And my email is hello, H-E-L-L-O, you know how to spell hello. I don't know why I just did that. At Swath Gifts, again, S-W-A-T-H-E, gifts with an S dot com. And just shoot me an email. I'm, my name's Elizabeth. Even if you don't remember that, just be like, hey, reusable <laughs> wrapping person. Excellent. Um, Thank you so I'd much, love Elizabeth. To talk. I mean, like I said, I I could talk about vintage green sack with you for the next hour, Corey. But I'll <laughs> I'll save your listeners from that. But if you have ideas or feedback to me, the best gift can't be wrapped, and it's feedback. So I I love to hear from people and what they're thinking and how they're finding different ways to be sustainable in their lives. So definitely hit me up. I would love to connect. 
Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And thank you, Landsberg Aurora, for sponsoring this podcast. If you're listening, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode and give us a review. We appreciate that a lot. Thank you.